Darrell, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Jerusha, for having me in your studios. Thank you to your audience. Now, economists are predicting that we could have another rand drop in the petrol price. Obviously, this seems like fantastic news for South Africans, but I want you to please explain to us why this is happening, why we're experiencing decreases in the petrol price. It certainly is good news, good news for the consumer. Thank you to the government for passing on these cost savings, these benefits. It certainly does help at the pump. Um, the drop is caused directly and indirectly through the drop in the price of crude oil. Um, we have various counters, but Brent is a standard of measurement, and Brent has dropped from its previous highs of up to $130 a barrel down to 42 in the range of 42 at the moment, it's trading at about $48 to the barrel. In fact, you were plotting it out for me over here and just showing me exactly when those fluctuations occurred. 2008 was not a good time to be buying petrol. No, or not oil. at all. Not at all. You're quite right. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw the price of crude spike at about just under $145 a barrel. So this, so we're looking at this figure over here. Yes. Okay. All right. And where are we right now in this in this macro scheme of things? We're obviously sitting at. 2015 and we saw quite a recovery after after 2008. Why, why was that? Well, I think um, we don't seem to learn by uh, through history. History is supposed to be one of our best teachers, but we don't seem to learn. And I'm also of the opinion that there's a lot of capital in the markets that has the ability to influence, influence smaller investors. And smaller investors generally are um, emotionally driven they have a need, they'd like to see returns, and often they chase a profit. And professional traders know this, and they use their balance sheets, their capital, to manipulate that. So hence you saw a recovery back in the oil price um, to the levels of $105 a barrel. Now, you mentioned to us and you explained to us that our petrol price is obviously based on the price of, of international oil. So who determines how much that sells for? Well, we have the elements of inflation, in other words, the direct cost of getting that product out of the ground, refined, and to the market. Um, so there is an inflationary element there. Of course, greed, in fact, if we started with greed, uh, greed is a search of profit and increasing profit. So although the cost of the natural reserve hasn't changed at all, it is there for us to tap into the cost of getting it out of the ground to market increases daily. Um, service providers, refiners, they seek uh, better uh, profit margins and therefore pricing increases. Um, greed also is prevalent in the markets in day trading. Um, so although the value of the product may not have changed or increased as incrementally, the traders drive margins up and they drive the prices up and then of course politics often interferes so we've got what's happening in the US and Russia there's a little bit of animosity a little to bit, under yes. understate it a bit. It's been one of the nations that has brought positive influence in other words it's invested in infrastructure and in businesses um, whereas the conflict between Russia and the US is political in nature purely the U.S. is also trying to um, drop its dependency on global markets for its imports and become more self-reliant. 